As the son of a former star in the MLB, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. has been in the spotlight for most of his life, and so far, he's lived up to the hype. Over four seasons in the majors, he's already won a Silver Slugger Award, a Gold Glove, made two All-Star appearances, placed second in MVP voting, and hit the most home runs in a single season by a player aged 22 or younger. Being only 23 years old now, he's given Blue Jays fans a lot to look forward to in the years to come. So without further ado, let's talk about Vladdy. On July 2, 2015, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. signed for a $3.9 million signing bonus as a 16-year-old with the Toronto Blue Jays. Just for reference, some notable picks in the MLB draft that year were Dansby Swanson, Alex Bregman, Kyle Tucker, Walker Buehler, and Austin Riley, among others. As the son of former major leaguer Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Vladdy has been in the spotlight from a very young age, and the Jays had to give up a lot to ensure that they were going to be the team to secure him. They traded prospects Chase DeYoung and Tim LeCastro to the Dodgers on top of a million dollar penalty in order to get the international bonus pool money that they needed for the deal. Vladdy would start his professional career the following year as a 17 year old, playing rookie ball in the Appalachian League for the Bluefield Blue Jays. That year, he had a 271, 359, 449 slash line with 8 home runs, 46 RBIs, and 33 walks. The next year, he spent time in A and High A with Dunedin and Lansing, and improved on his numbers from the year prior. But in 2018, Vladdy really made his mark while splitting time between Double A and Triple A as a 19-year-old. The power he's come to be known for was on full display, putting up a 636 slugging with 20 home runs. With these improvements, it was only a matter of time before he would be playing for the Major League squad. And sure enough, in 2019, he would only play 13 games in the minors before being called up and making his major league debut on April 26, 2019, recording his first hit in the process. In the ninth inning of a 2-2 tie against the Oakland Athletics, he hit a double and would be pinch run for before Brandon Drury came to the plate and hit a walk-off home run to end the game. Over the past four years, Vladdy has played in the vast majority of games for the Jays, and we've had a chance to see the type of player he is. In his first year in the majors, he put up a respectable offensive season with 15 home runs and a 106 OPS+, plus, good enough for sixth place in AL Rookie of the Year voting. Moving on to the shortened 2020 season, he continued at a pretty similar pace, but in 2021, he saw a major jump in offense with the most home runs and highest OPS plus in the American League. And although his numbers in 2022 didn't come close to matching, he still had a stellar offensive season with 32 home runs and a 132 OPS plus. So far in his young career, he's already won a Silver Slugger Award, a Gold Glove, made two All-Star appearances, and placed second in MVP voting. These accolades were well earned with his impressive slash line, 104 home runs, and 135 OPS+. Plus. But let's take a closer look at how these numbers came to be. Guerrero Jr. is a power hitter, but unlike most, he actually doesn't strike out as often as you might think. He does hit the ball hard and play first base, though. So far, he's hit incredibly well against fastballs, and it seems like pitchers are taking note as he's seen less of them since 2020, and they've been replaced by more breaking pitches instead. Looking at his zone breakdown from last season, you can see that pitchers are looking to get him to chase down and away with those breaking balls. And you can see why. Vladdy had an overall strikeout rate of 16.4% last year, but it was 35.8% on that low and away corner. As for his power, Vladdy ranked in the 96th percentile for average exit velocity in 2022, hitting pitches high in the zone especially hard, with an average exit velocity of over 100 miles an hour high and away in the heart of the plate. This past season, Vladdy hit the most balls over 95 miles an hour out of the qualified batters with 265. So far, looking at his spray chart over four seasons, he's also made pretty good use of the entire field when he bats, with a pull percentage just under 38%. 
As far as base running goes, there hasn't been a lot to admire with him putting up negative base running value every year so far. But speed has never been where Vladdy produces his value, so it's not concerning by any means. As a final note on his offense, if you're looking for a reason for his small decline between 2021 and 2022, there's a few stats that jump out. His average launch angle decreased from 9.4 to 4.3, which caused a noticeable drop in his fly ball rate and his home runs as a result of that. You could also look at his plate discipline. With his walk rate dropping by 4% and his out of zone swing percentage going up by 6. Finally, on the other side of the field, despite first base not being the most demanding defensive position, he's shown great ability to field it well while also displaying some impressive flexibility at times, good enough to earn him the gold glove this past year. After starting his career off at third base, he seems to have really found a home at first these past couple years. With how well Vladdy has performed up to this point in his career, it would be interesting to take a look at some players who share similar stats with him up to age 23 and how their careers turned out. Vladdy has played in 504 games with an 862 OPS. Let's look at all the players who had spans of 475 games with an OPS between 800 and 900 up to their age 23 season. A few of the names surrounding Vladdy on this list include Giancarlo Stanton, Orlando Cepeda, Tony Canigliaro, and Juan Gonzalez. If you're a Blue Jays fan like I am, seeing him surrounded by names like this brings a lot of hope for the future. Between the four players I just listed, there's 20 All-Star games, 8 Silver Slugger awards, and 4 MVP seasons. Out of those players, Guerrero probably compares best to either Cepeda or Gonzalez. Cepeda compares well because he played first base and put up negative defensive value, but he differs in that up to age 23, he was actually stealing quite a few bases despite being caught pretty often. Gonzalez compares well because like Vladdy, he put up slightly negative defensive value, didn't steal bases often, and had a very similar OPS up to age 23. Now, how about comparing Vladdy to other players in Blue Jays history? Running the same search as before, he's the only player on the list. Even if you drop the games to 400, he's still the only one. Vladdy has truly been one of a kind for the Jays so far. In summary, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. has certainly lived up to the hype so far in his young career, with some accolades to show for it. As a power hitter, he hits the ball hard, but he's also managed to control his strikeout rate. If he can find a way to increase his launch angle again like he did in 2021, his offensive numbers will likely see an increase. His batting comparisons up to this point in his career include names like Orlando Cepeda and Juan Gonzalez, leaving a lot of hope for Blue Jays fans in the future. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Jack of All Baseball, and I'll see you next time.